Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Shimso here. So, the preseason update is out, and that means the new runes have arrived. So, I'm actually going to go through every new rune and talk about them from a Singe perspective. Basically, what I think would be good, what I think would be bad. Um, my guess is going to be Sorcery and Resolve from what I've seen so far are going to be the good ones. We're going to go through each one, and we're going to take a look at what's on offer. So... Pretty sure the way this works is you select one path. Like, it basically, like, the path you select, you get certain bonuses from it. I'm not certain exactly how to actually see it. Um, delete this. So if we go create new. Does that actually show me based on... I'm pretty sure when you select... Oh, whatever. So, uh, yeah, there's basically four tiers of things that you can actually select, and each one you can select a different rune that obviously has a different effect, and then you can go into a secondary tree as well. How does the secondary tree work? Okay, so the secondary tree... Oh, it looks like you, you, ha you, you can't select a keystone, but you can select from the other, th the other three here. And well, does, is that how it works? Let's see. Uh, precision. Yeah, so you can select from the other three, but you can't select a keystone, and you can only select two of them instead of three. Alright then. Well, um, so the first one is... Precision. So, let's have a look here. Become a legend, improve attacks, and sustain damage. I'm not sure exactly what that entails. It doesn't seem to want to tell me here. Uh, but yeah, so basically each one you can select a keystone, like a keystone mastery, basically. So, press the attack. Hitting an enemy champion three consecutive times makes them vulnerable, dealing bonus damage and causing them to take more damage from all sources for six seconds. Oh, okay. So, b hitting an enemy with three consecutive basic attacks deals 30 to 120 bonus adaptive damage based on level makes them vulnerable, increasing the damage they take by 12% from all sources for six seconds. So I'm pretty sure adaptive damage means that the damage done is, depends on whether you have AD or AP. So if you have more AD, you would do a, uh, physical damage, I'm guessing. And if you do, if you have more AP, you would do magic damage. Uh, that's, I'm pretty sure, what adaptive damage is. Uh, that one, not really for Singe, really. Doesn't seem to, I mean, yeah. Three consecutive basic attacks, not that difficult for Singe to do in a fight, but... I mean, yeah, it's not, not optimal, in my opinion. Next one is Lethal Tempo. 1.5 seconds after damaging a champion, gain 30 to 80% attack speed based on level for 3 seconds. Attack your champion extends the effect to 6 seconds. Okay, completely useless for Singed. He's not an auto-attacker. Uh, Auto-attacking factors into a lot of his trades, but he doesn't need attack speed at all. So, completely worthless for Singed. I don't think this tree is going to be very useful at all for him. Attacking and moving builds energy stacks. At 100 stacks, your next attack is Energize. Energize attacks heal you for 50 to 5 plus 0.1 bonus AD plus 0.2 AP and grant 30% movement speed for 1 second. Healing is 60% as effective when used on a minion. That actually seems okay. Attacking and moving builds energy stacks. I'm guessing, but uh, I'm guessing the thing is like attacking. So I'm guessing that's auto attacking, which means something with high attack speed like an AD carry would be like ha have much more use for that. And yeah, judging by the fact that it doesn't seem to have reduced effectiveness uh, for ranged champions, this is probably something that's meant to be taken on AD carries and not tanks. Still could be okay on Singed. Uh, what do we have on the, these other masteries here? So over here, excess healing becomes a shield. Okay, that's not useful for Singe. He doesn't heal himself. He only regens a lot. Try up to take downs, restore 50% of your missing health, and grant 25 additional gold. Hey, that's okay, but I'm sure there are better things. Uh, presence of mind. For 5 seconds after gaining a level or takedown, any mana you spend is fully restored. That seems pretty crap, honestly. Yeah, that doesn't seem good at all. If I had to take one of these on Singed, uh, probably this one, honestly. Hope you survive in team fights. Because takedowns are assists as well. Um, what do we got here? Legend Alacrity. Gain 3% attack speed plus additional 1% for every legend stack. Max 10 stack. You earn legend stacks for each champion takedown. Epic monster takedown. Large monster kill and minion kill. Okay, uses for singe. Attack speed. Not, not needed. Ah, this is probably going to be more useful. Legend Tenacity. Gain 5% tenacity plus an additional 1.5% for every legend stack. 
So that brings you, you get 20% tenacity from this. And you can get it from, so yeah, you can get legend stacks for champion takedowns, epic monster takedowns, large monster kills, and minion kills. So you can get that while jungling too. Large monster kill, large monster kill and minion kill. Does that mean like siege minions? I'm not sure. That could actually be good. That might be something you could consider running in your secondary tree. But, like I said, I haven't seen what Resolve has to offer yet, so... Probably not. There's probably something better than that. Tenacity is very tempting. Last one is Legend of Bloodline. Takedowns on enemies grant permanent life suit. I already know that's useless. I'm not even going to read it. Uh, so yeah, I'll, probably, I'll definitely select the Tenacity here. Uh, combat. Coup de Grace. Deal more damage to low health enemy champions. 10% more damage to champions who have less than 40% health. Additionally, takedowns on champions grant an adaptive bonus of 9 attack damage or 15 ability power for 10 seconds. Eh, not that useful. Cut down. Deal more damage to champions with more maximum health than you. I'm not even going to bother reading that. That's an AD carry rune. Obviously something that Singe is not going to take. Uh, deal more damage to champions while you are low on health. Do 5 to 12% increased damage to champions while you're below 60% health. Max damage gained at 30% health. So if you're under 30% health, you will do 12% increased damage. Uh, seems okay, but um, what would I take here? Hmm. I'd probably go last stand, honestly. Yeah, that's probably what I'd go. Makes you do deceptively more damage when enemies are closer to killing you. But I, I don't like it that much. Alright, so that's the precision tree. That's what I'd go there. I don't think I really like this tree a lot. The best thing is by far the tenacity. That is awesome. Even though you do have to work towards it. It's something you could definitely do. Maybe Singe Jungle would love that. I'm not sure. Alright, well... Oh. No, we, we can just do this, can't we? We can go... Alright. Domination. This tree is probably going to be pretty useless because it seems more like a fighting tree, but we'll see what see what's here. Alright, Keystone, Electrocute, hitting enemy champion with three separate attacks or abilities in three seconds deals bonus adaptive damage. So this is like Thunderlords, basically. Okay, it has an AP scaling, cooldown 50 to 25 seconds, so yeah, it is like Thunderlords, basically. Um, that actually seems okay. I mean, it's about as good as Thunderlords on Singe, and I mean... Yeah, Thunderlords is cool and all, but you don't really... Yeah, it has to be separate. So, I mean, your your Sky Auto Attack combo will set it off, because you're fleeing, you auto attack into poison. So that would set that off. Uh, 50 second cooldown early game really hurts, though. I'll have to see what the others are. I'm, I'm probably thinking this will be the one we take, but we'll have to see. Predator. Enchants your boots with... Oh, enchants your boots with the active effect Predator. Channel for 1.5 seconds out of combat to gain 45% movement speed for 15 seconds. Damaging attacks or abilities end this effect, dealing 60 to 140 and scaling bonus adaptive damage that's a big cooldown and i don't think that's very useful yeah it seems more like something you would do if you want to roam around like you're playing an Aurelia, you want to roam mid lane or something yeah not something you want to do, go on singe in my opinion singe just want to push in lane all day dark harvest Champions, large minions, and large monsters drop soul essence on death. Collect souls to become soul charge. Your next attack on a champion or structure consumes soul charge to deal bonus adaptive damage. So champions, large minions, and large monsters. Soul charge lasts 20 seconds, increases to 300 seconds after collecting 150 soul essence. Bonus damage is 40 to 80, and has an AP and AD scaling, plus soul essence collected. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Nah, not a fan. Just doesn't do enough for your Singe, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, out of these, I'd probably go Electrocute. Because you can just trigger it on your, um, Scarred or Attack combo. So, that seems okay. Alright then, what do we got here? So there's, wait, hold on, there's Cheap Shot, Tracking, and, no, there's... Okay, I can't deselect it. Uh, so, Cheap Shot is, Damaging Champions with Impaired Movement or Action deals 12 to 30% true damage, based on level. Activates on damage occurring after the impairment. Does that proc on every tick of his poison? Because if so, then that with Rylai's is fucking ridiculous. Actually. Damaging champions with impaired movements, movement or actions deals 12 to 30% bonus true damage. Oh, cooldown 4 seconds. Okay. Eh. 
I was thinking like, oh, holy shit, that'll be broken. But yeah, I, I had to, yeah. Cooldown four seconds. That actually seems like it would be solid with the Rallai's Rush. I do like that. But yeah, cooldown four seconds, sort of eh. Uh, taste of Blood, heal when you damage an enemy champion. 20 second cooldown, healing 18 to 35 with an AD and AP scaling. Uh, it just doesn't seem like enough in my opinion. Maybe enough for sustain in lane, but I mean, yeah, not enough for singed. Seems like it'd be good for ranged champions. Sudden impact. After exiting stealth or using a dash, leap, blink, or teleport, dealing any damage to a champion grants you 10 lethality and 8 magic penetration for 5 seconds. Okay, yeah, not, not for singed. He doesn't have dashes or leaps or blinks, so yeah, not for him. I would go cheap shot, for sure. Uh, what do we got here? Tracking. Okay, zombie ward. After killing a ward, a friendly zombie ward is raised in its place. When your wards expire, they also reanimate as zombie wards. How long do they last? Without knowing that, I can't... I, I don't think it's that useful, but yeah, without knowing that, I can't really make a, a, a great assessment there. Ghost Poro. When you enter a bush, a Poro appears. It'll stay behind to give you vision. Enter a bush to summon a Poro after a brief channel. The Poro will stay behind to give you vision until you summon a new one. If an enemy enters a bush with a Poro in it, they scare it away. Putting a ghost Poro, putting ghost Poro on a 3-second cooldown. Poro channel is interrupted if you enter combat with a champion. Could actually be good by proxying, honestly. Chuck it in a bush. Enemy champions run through the bush. Tip it off. But then if they get wise to it, they could just avoid walking into the bushes. I think a ward would always be better, unless this grants you vision outside the bush as well. Which I'd have to test, but yeah, it seems alright. Eyeball Collection. Collect eyeballs from champions and ward takedowns. Gain adaptive bonus of 0 0.6 attack damage or 1 ability power per eyeball collected. Champion and ward takedowns. After completing your collection at 20 eyeballs, additionally gain adaptive bonus of 6 attack damage or 10 ability power. Collect 2 eyeballs per champion takedown, 1 eyeball per ward takedown. So let's say, like, you know, you're probably not going to be killing wards much as singed. So after 10. Champion takedowns, you get 10 ability power plus... So you get 30 ability power, right? Yeah, 30 ability power and like... Uh, 30 ability power and... Fuck. Uh, 18. Yeah, 30 ability power, 18 attack damage. Eh, nah. That doesn't seem worth it to me. I'll probably go with either Zombie Ward or Ghost Poro. Uh, I might go Zombie Ward, actually. Yeah. Zombie Ward's a visible last for 180... Okay, no. No. Okay, why didn't that show up before? Maybe I was just blind. Last for 180 seconds and don't count towards your ward, uh, ward number. Yeah, definitely. I'll go for that. Because that'll give you a lot of vision while proxying. Uh, Hunter. Ravenous Hunter. Unique takedowns grant permanent healing from ability damage. Heal for a percentage of your damage dealt by your abilities. 2.5% plus 2.5% of a bounty stack. Ooh, spell vamp, boys. 2.5% spell vamp. Earn a bounty take... Yeah, earn a bounty hunter stack the first time you get a takedown on an enemy champion. Oh, so like it's like shitty spell vamp. So basically, yeah. You take down an enemy champion, it gets increased to 5%. You take down another, it gets increased to 7.5. But it has to be unique. And it can go up to a maximum of 2.5 plus, uh, so 5. A uh, maximum of 15% healing from your abilities. And it's reduced to one third for area effect abilities. So Poison Trail does count as that. Uh, yeah, I'd probably take that because it's Spell Vamp. And Spell Vamp is really good on Singe at the moment in his uh, runes. But eh. doesn't seem like enough. It's not what it used to be. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, it's okay, but it's not what it used to be. Ingenious Hunter. Gain 10% active item cooldown reduction, plus an additional 6% of the Bounty Hunter stack. Only Bounty Hunter stack the first time. Okay, so Bounty Hunter stack again. Yeah, not good. Not good. You know, you don't build active items on Sinch. They're not useful. Unless you're building Righteous Glory, I guess that could, that could be okay. It includes trinkets, but yeah, not that useful. Relentless Hunter. Gain 8 out of combat movement speed plus 8 per bounty hunter stack. And a bounty hunter stack the first time you get a takedown on an enemy champion. Seems good, but out of combat movement speed. You want movement speed in combat as singed. Um, I'll take Ravenous Hunter, honestly. Shitty spell vamp is still spell vamp. Alright, so that's the domination tree. That's what I'd go. Eh, it doesn't seem that amazing. It seems more like a fighting tree or an 80 carry tree. 
So, yeah, not something that I'll probably go. Sorcery. Oh, yeah, here. Here's the fun tree for Singed. This is, uh, I probably think this will be the primary tree for Singed, but we'll have to see, obviously. All right, Keystones. Summon Airy. Your attacks and abilities send Airy to a target, damaging enemies or shielding allies. Damage is 20 to 60 based on level, plus has an AP and AD ceiling. And, oh, yeah, and, and it will shield allies as well. Cannot be sent to you. Can it be sent out again until she returns to you? Eh. That's not the one we want here. Arcane Comet. <clears throat> Damage a champion with an ability hurls a comet at the location where Arcane Comet is on cooldown. Reduces its remaining cooldown. So does every tick of Poison Trail reduce its remaining cooldown? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, oh okay. So, no. Damage over time reduces it by 5%. Radio. So you would need 20, 20 stacks to get 100%. But yeah, it does, does decrease. Oh, okay. Cooldown is actually quite low. 20 to... 8 seconds. It does 30 to 100 base on level. With a decent AP and AD scaling. That could definitely be something we look at, but... I think the best one's going to be Phase Rush. I think we all know this one already. So, hitting enemy champion with 3 attacks or separate abilities. Within 3 seconds, it grants 15 to 40% movement speed based on level. Lasts for 3 seconds and has a cooldown of 15 seconds. And if you're melee... You additionally gain 75% slow resistance for the duration. I, I think this is just going to be the thing that we take. I think uh, Sorcery Tree is going to be the main tree, and Phase Rush is going to be the keystone. Because your Scar Auto Attack combo will trigger this. And you get, yeah, 15 to 40% movement speed. But fucking hell, the slow resistance. That is so fucking good. 75% slow resistance for 3 seconds. Yeah, I want this. 100% Slam Dunk, Windmill Slam, Phase Rush. Okay, second tree here. Nullifying Orb. Gain a magic damage shield. We're taking a low health by magic damage. When you take magic damage that will reduce your health below 30%, gain a shield that absorbs 40 to 120 magic damage based on level. Has an AD and AP scaling. Lasts for 4 seconds. Has a cooldown of 60 seconds. Um, It's good, but like... You're not really threatened by... Like, this is obviously something you would... Own, like, you'd have a separate rune page for this. Well, I guess you can change it in Champion Select now. You'd switch to this if your Viper gets an AP top laner. But the thing is, like, AP top laners don't really hurt Singed. Their tanks mostly. Swain is probably the worst one, and... I still don't think you need this. This seems like it's good against Burst. And I don't think you need it on Singed. This is something that, like, probably mid laners would take against AP matchups to try and survive Bursts against, like, a LeBlanc or a Singed or something. Uh, yeah, probably not something you need. Mana Flow Band. Every 60 seconds, your next ability used has its mana or energy cost refunded and restores 8% of your missing mana or energy. This would be good, but I mean, like, you toggle your Poison Trail and you get 13, you save 13 mana and it still keeps ticking, but it restores 8% of your missing mana or energy. That's okay, but every 60 seconds hurts. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that one. The Ultimate Hat. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah this one. This is what we're going to take. I already know this. Your ultimate's cooldown is reduced by 5%. Each time you cast your ultimate, its cooldown is further reduced by 2%. Stacks up to 5 times. Yeah, you're just going to take this. Um, Singe's ultimate cooldown obviously got nerfed. Hello there. Um, and it does suck. So taking this means it gets reduced by 5 second, uh, five percent So at level 1, that's like what? 5%. That would be fucking... My math is terrible, guys. Sorry. That would be 6 seconds, wouldn't it? Right? Am I wrong? Yeah, that'll be 6 seconds. So your ultimate becomes 114 second cooldown. And you can get 2% up to 5 times. So it can be reduced by 15 seconds. Which means... Level 3 ultimate, 100 seconds. Yeah, that'd be a... Uh, ultimate on... Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. I like this. I'll probably take ultimate hat. Yeah, I, I just think even for like the early ultimate cooldown reduction, that's really good. But the fact that it stacks up... Is nice. And yeah, just stack it up by using your ultimate. You can do that all the time as Singe, so... Yeah, I'm probably going to take Ultimate Hat here. Excellent. Okay. Transcendence. Gain 10% cooldown reduction when you reach level 10. Each percent of cooldown reduction exceeding the cooldown reduction limit is converted to an adaptive bonus of 1.2 attack damage or 2 ability power. That's sort of shitty. Um, yeah, Sin doesn't need, really need cooldown reduction, so I don't think we'd take that. Celerity. Gain 4% increased movement speed and add 8% of your bonus movement speed to your AP or AD adaptive based on level. Um, yes. Yes, please. I don't even think I need to read the third one. This is 100% what you're going to take. 4% increased movement speed. Bear in mind that movement speed quints, if you ran three of them, granted you 4.5% bonus movement speed. This grants you 4%. 
and it adds 8% of your bonus movement speed to your AP or AD. So think about when you're ulting, you're also getting increased AD and AP from the movement speed you gain from it. Yes, please. I'll take that. Uh, what's the third one? Absolute focus. While above 70% health, you gain extra adaptive damage. Yeah. Uh, how much? Yeah, no. That, that's for poke mages who sit at the back. We, we, we want this. Absolutely. And the final one. Scorch. Your next ability hit sends cha sets champions on fire, dealing 30 to 60 bonus magic damage based on level after one second. Mm, 20 second cooldown. I mean, it seems okay. It's just a little bit of bonus damage. And uh, it doesn't really seem that amazing to me. Seems more like a burst combo thing. Uh, water walking. Gain 25% movement speed and an adaptive bonus of up to 18 attack damage or 30 ability power based on level while in river. Uh... Just doesn't seem that good. It, it's it's highly conditional. Yeah, it's movement speed. I'll probably take it if the third one here isn't that good, but it's only in river, man. Yeah, it's great for baron fights and shit and dragon fights, but it's like, it's true, it's only in river. It's not going to help you in lane. Gathering a storm. Every 10 minutes, gain AP or AD adaptive. So what? You just every... I'm not sure how this works, so... So does it mean like at... I'm, I'm trying to interpret this. Does it mean like at 10 minutes you'll get 8 or... Uh, 8... Like, let's say you're playing Exchange. So at 10 minutes you would get 8 AP. Then at 20 minutes, do you get 24 AP? Or do you get 24 plus 8 AP? Which would be 32. I don't know. I I'd probably take this. Just because the other ones don't seem that good. Yeah, like at... Yeah, I mean, that's actually okay. 40 minutes, 80 AP. 30 minutes, 48 AP. That'll actually help your late game. I'll probably take that. Yeah. All right. So this is probably my favorite one for Singed. I knew that coming in. This seems really good. Uh, yeah, water walking, uh, I guess. But no, Gathering Storm, I think, is what I'll take. So yeah, that seems okay. Oh, shit. No, whoops. Let's go back. And resolve. This will probably be the secondary tree. But let's take a look. Uh, Keystones. Grasp of the Undying. Every 4 seconds in combat, your next basic attack on a champion will deal bonus magic damage equal to 4% of your max health, heal you for 2% of your max health, and permanently increase your health by 5. And obviously, shittier for ranged champions. So that actually seems pretty good, but the problem is, like, the damage is based on your max health, and you're just not building a huge amount of max health on Singed. Yeah, you know, permanently increasing your health is cool and all, but, like, you know, I just don't think that's great. I really don't. For, like, a Ral Azzy Andrew Singed, you're not getting much health. Yeah, I, I, it's okay. I don't think it's great, though. Aftershock. After immobilizing an enemy champion, increase your armor and magic resist by 20 plus 30% for 2.5 seconds, then explode. <laughs> okay, dealing magic damage to nearby enemies. 20 second cooldown, 40 to 140 magic, 40 magic damage, plus 3.5% of your maximum health scaling. Yeah, the health scaling sort of tips it off. This is for people like tank. This is for Maokai and shit. People who are going to build a fuck ton of health. Scion. Yeah, I just don't think it's great for Singed. Yeah, it triggers off your fling, for sure. But, yeah, the base damage is quite high. No, I still don't like it, man. I'd much rather have, have Phase Rush, honestly. I'd, I'd, I'd rather have the movement speed. Guardian. Guard allies within 175 units of you and allies you target with spells for 2.5 seconds. While guarding, if you or the ally take damage, both of you gain a shield and a haste for 1.5 seconds. Cooldown is 45 seconds. Shield is for 60 to 150 based on level, I'm guessing, with an AD... Well, no, with an AP and bonus health scaling. Plus 20, and the haste is 20% movement speed. That just seems like it could be okay. But useless... Useless out, like, useless uh, until team fights. Not good in a solo lane. Seems like the, the Stoneborn pack build that Ancan was trying last uh, uh, this season. So yeah, I mean, it could be okay, but yeah, not good for a solo lane. Uh, I'd probably take... Aftershock here if I had to take something. Grassy Undying just doesn't seem that great. And yeah, I'll probably take this, honestly. Okay, Strength. Unflinching. After casting a Summoner spell, gain 50% tenacity and slow resistance for 10 seconds. Additionally, grant 10% tenacity and slow resistance for each Summoner spell on cooldown. Oh, I like this. 
So after, okay, so let's say you cast Ghost. You cast Ghost and you gain 15% tenacity and slow resistance for 10 seconds. Yes, fucking please. I love that. Yes. And let's say both your Ghost and your Teleporter are on Oh, no, this is just fucking great. Yeah, this is great. Your Ghost and Teleporter are most likely going to be on cooldown quite a lot. So yeah, you just get, like, let's say just your Ghost is on cooldown. 10% tenacity and slow resistance just while it's on cooldown. Yes, please. Fuck yeah, this is great. I like that a lot for Singed. Demolish. Charge up a powerful ta attack against a tower while near it. Over four seconds. Charge up a powerful attack against a tower over four seconds. While within the 600 range of it, the charge attack deals 125 plus 30% of your max health bonus physical damage. Eh. 30% of your max health is actually quite a bit. Could be good for tower pushing, but I want tenacity, man. That's a lot better. Font of life. Impairing the movement of an enemy champion marks him for four seconds. Allied champions who attack mark enemies heal. Okay, so still more packed. Yeah, could be good on a rally singe, but once again, I want this. I want I want the tenacity. Thank you very much. Resistance. Iron skin. Gains plus five armor. Heal effects from consumables. Heal for at least 20 health and shields increase your armor by 5% for three seconds. Wait, heal effects from consumables. Heals for at least 20 health and shield. In I'm confused. I don't know. Heal effects from consumables. Heals for at least 20 health. And shield increase your armor by 5% for 3 seconds. That is so poorly worded. I have no idea what that means. Oh no! Okay. Heals including consumables. Increase your armor by 5%. Okay. Uh, I'm still confused, but whatever. Mirror show. I'm guessing this is the same thing, but for AP. Yes, it is. So basically, 80 or AP in lane. Conditioning. After 10 minutes, gain 8 armor plus 8 magic resist. Increase your armor and magic resist by 5%. So you can either go for a little bit early on. This is, I'm guessing, something you'll change depending on the matchup. Tough early. Um, tough early matchup. You're up against a Jace. Take this, obviously. AP matchup. Take this. A, a tank matchup that you're not really scared of. Take this. Yeah, so you can either choose early early um, resistances or late game resistances and mid game. So yeah, uh, highly dependent on your matchup. I'll probably just go this in general, but once again, dependent on your matchup. You, you, I'm pretty sure you can change runes in champion select now. So matchup dependent, 100%. All of them are good. All of them are good. Take this if you want, you know, early survivability against Jace, Nah, fucking Riven. Take this if you want, like, you're up against a Swain, I guess. And take this if you're up against tanks that can't kill you. Much better. Okay, last one. Vitality. <laughs> Overgrowth. Permanently gain 0.2% maximum health for every three monsters or enemy minions that die near you. Eh, seems okay. Seems okay. But seems like, once again, it would be something better for somebody who wants... Who builds a lot of, like, yeah, maximum health. So, you're a 400 HP Scion because you've got Warmogs and a Frozen Mallet and shit. That's going to be a lot more effective than, you know, a Singed with Rylaj and Andres. Revitalize. Heals and Shields are 5% stronger. And increase an additional, but an increase by initial ten percent on targets by forty percent HP. Okay, that's for healing supports. Not useful for us. Second wind after taking damage from an enemy champion, heal for four percent of your missing health plus six percent over ten seconds. Okay, so when when you're hit by champions, this doesn't have a cooldown. So like, I'm basically, like whenever you're taking damage, you heal for four percent of your missing health plus six over ten seconds. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that could actually make Singe really hard to kill. It's either Overgrowth or Second Wind. I don't really like either of them, but I'll probably take Second Wind, honestly. Alrighty then, that's the Resolve Tree. It's probably going to be the secondary tree because we want Unflinching. And, I mean, we just, we just want Unflinching. That's so good. That blows the tenacity from the Precision Tree out of the water. Yeah, I'll take this, for sure. And then this is just adaptive based on whatever matchup you're up against. Last one, Inspiration. Okay, let's see what we got here. Keystones. Unsealed Spellbook. Gain a Summoner Shard at 2 minutes and another every 6 minutes after. Maximum 2 shards. When near the shop, you can exchange one Summoner Shard to replace a Summoner Spell with a different one. Additionally, your Summoner Spell cooldowns are reduced by 25%. Smite. Buying Smite won't grant access to Smart Items. You cannot have two of the same style of spell. Summoner Spell cooldown reduction is nice, but not essential on Singed. 
Oh, ah, yeah, it'll be nice to have to reduce ghost cooldown, but I don't think it's worth going to this tree and not taking phase rush for it. Yeah, stopping summoner spell is not really something that Singe needs. I mean, I guess it seems okay because, like, you can take Ignite early on. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this, yeah, like, you're going to want to take Ignite early on and then cheese people and then take teleport after, but I mean, like, you're missing out on so much other good stuff. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, uh, great, I'll probably take this if this was a good tree for Singe, but yeah. I we'll have to see what the rest is. Okay, Glacial Augment. Basic attacking a champion slows them for two seconds. The slow increases in strength over its duration. Range, melee, melee attack, slow for up to 40% to 50%. That's pretty good. Slowing a champion with active items shoots a freeze ray through them. Freezing the nearby ground for five seconds, slowing all units inside. Okay, so the support item, basically. Yeah, this is a support item. Seems like it could be okay on Singe, but you don't build active items, so not useful. Kleptomancy. After using an ability, your next attack on a champion grants bonus gold. There's a chance you also gain a consumable. Gain a consumable? What does that mean? Oh, like a ward or a sightstone charge or a potion or something? Okay, that, that, that's a support item. Yeah, this, this is the support tree, but we're going to go through it anyways. Alright. Hextech Flash Traption. While Flash is on cooldown, it is re replaced by Hex Flash. Channel for two seconds to blink to a new location. 20 second cooldown. Go to the 10 second cooldown when you enter combat. Okay, so it's a flash that you can't use in combat that you have to charge up for two seconds while your flash is on cooldown. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. I'd rather have ghost or just normal flash. Uh, biscuit delivery. Gain a total biscuit of everlasting will every three minutes until 12 minutes. 50% missing health and mana. Consuming a biscuit permanently increases your mana cap by 40%. Manaless champions without mana restore 20% of missing health instead. Eh, nah. That's just, that's just shit in my opinion, unless you're a support. No, thank you. Perfect timing. Start the game with a commencing stopwatch. It transforms into a stopwatch after 6 minutes. Stopwatch has a one-time use stasis effect. And it reduces the cooldown of Zonya's Hourglass, Guardian Angel, and Gargoyle Stoneplate by 15%. No, thank you. No, thank you. I mean, the Gargoyle Stoneplate reduction is pretty cool, but no thanks. Not useful. Tomorrow... Magical footwear. You get free slightly magical boots at 10 minutes, but you cannot buy boots before then. For each takedown, you acquire the boots for 30 acquire the boots 30 seconds sooner. Slightly magical boots gives you an additional 10 movement speed and upgrade for 50 gold less. That's okay. Not building boots for 10 minutes sort of sucks, but that's worth it, in my opinion. Yeah, that seems pretty good actually. Futures market, you can enter debt to buy items. You get into debt to buy items, the amount that you can borrow increases over time. Lending fee, 50 gold. Debt limit, 150 plus 5 per minute. Debt doesn't become available until 2 minutes. Okay, so you can't boost your starting items. Eh, nah, I don't like it. Uh, it, it that's an item for poor supports, obviously. Minion Dematerializer. Start the game with 6 Minion Dematerializers that kill and absorb lame minions instantly. They're on cooldown for the first 155 seconds of the game, otherwise Proxy Singe could abuse them. <laughs> Absorbing a minion increases your damage by 4% against that type of minion permanently, and an extra 1% for each additional minion of that type absorbed. Yeah, that'd be broken on Proxy Singed if you... Yeah, nah. But nah, that's not useful. I'll, I'll take the boots if I had to. Um, oh, this one, I would go... Yeah, perfect timing. Beyond. Cosmic Insight. 5% cooldown reduction, 5% maximum cooldown reduction, 5% cooldown reduction uh, for some of the spells, and 5% item cooldown reduction. No thanks. Uh, approach Velocity. Gain 10% movement speed towards nearby ally champions that are movement impaired or enemy champions that you impair. Hey, that's actually pretty good. You'll fuck up Rylai's people really hard, but... When, you, when you're slowing someone with Rylai's, you're already on top of them, so you don't... Yeah, you don't need movement speed towards them because you're already on them. Eh, whatever. Celestial Body, you gain 100 plus health permanently, minus 10% damage to champions and monsters until 10 minutes. No, thank you. Approach Velocity, I'll take it. Ah, uh, yeah, shittiest tree for Singe, in my opinion. So, based on this, what would I go? Well, we're going Phase Rush. I mean, that's just a no-brainer. Phase Rush, then we're going to go the Ultimate Hat. Uh, Transcendence, uh, what we're going to go? Oh, yeah, Celerity, of course. And then this one, we want to go Gathering Storm, okay. Now, the Resolve Tree, we're going to go... Yeah, Secondary Path is going to be Resolve. So, can we actually just, like, pick... Any one? 
Oh no, it cuts off it cuts off the others in the tree. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was I was wondering how that would work. So yeah, for this one we're gonna go the tenacity. Uh well no, no. Tena yeah, tenacity. And we're going to go. He was in shields five percent stronger. Second wind. Okay, yeah, for this one we're going to go tenacity and we're gonna go one of these. So yeah, like I said, I don't think any of these are amazing. So we're going to go... Yeah, this is the room page I'll probably use. So this will be the default. And then in the result tree, we'll go to the tenacity. And then basically, depending on the lane matchup, up against AD, that can bully me around early, got Iron Skin. Up against AP, that can bully me around early, or just that I'm scared of, something like a Swain or I don't know, a Diana top. Go for that. Up against tanks that can't kill me and that are easy lanes, go for conditioning. All right. Yeah, this will probably be how I... This will probably be my default room page. Um... All right, then. That seems pretty good. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my analysis of the runes. This will be what I will probably be running, um, unless, obviously, some crazy build comes out. I'm sure there's going to be crazy experimentation with builds, especially on Singed. But this is what I think is the best, just based off what we have now. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll try to get a game with these runes. I'll try to play my first game with them, <laughs> get my first impressions, see how they go. But, yeah, apart from that, guys, thank you all for watching. Take care. I'll see you all next time. Enjoy your preseason. Peace out.